guys are lining up. The biggest race of the day today. The Loud and Classic. It's showtime. That's Mossy, the Northeast manager for Honda, right there. That's a big race. Quarter million, two hundred fifty thousand dollars up for grabs. We're in the pre-grid for the one hundredth Loudon Classic. We're about to get going here. We got Shane Narbonne, number 64, in front of us. He is the race favorite. He's won it the last nine times. <laughs> he has our fastest lap time of the day so far, right? Yes, yes. So it's yep. going to be a big payday for him today. $65,000. This is the largest professional purse in ever, the history of ever. motorcycle racing. And uh, the big, the factory teams are out here to try to get their share of the pie. We got Warhorse Ducati, PJ Jacobson, number 99, Warhorse Ducati. We got Extra Suzuki. Yep. Okay, guys, T Hobbs right in front of us. M4 Vision Wheel, X Star Suzuki, T Hobbs. M4 Vision Wheel. These are all the, a lot of the superstars. Straight across from us, Richie Escalante, Mission Food, Suzuki. These guys are getting ready to go. They're going to go out for a sighting lap, then a warm up lap, and then we're going to get underway. This is the big one for all the money. Quarter million dollars plus sponsorship money. We got a lot of Contract. local guys in this race too. Hopefully these local guys have an advantage. Rough conditions. It's real wet around here today. We got a lot of the superstars of Moto America. We took a uh, a chance to come up here to New Hampshire for a little fame, glory, and a big pile of cash. electricity in the air today. A lot at stake here. Historic, iconic event. A loud and classic. actual pre-grid for the 100th Loudon Classic.
go. We're all greeted up. 100th Loud and Classic. We're about to start this. $250,000. 55 grand to the winner. Maybe 65 grand if you're a local guy. Largest person in professional motorcycle racing in the history of road racing. Scott is in the lead. First lap, 100th, loud and classic. Tyler Scott, number 70, in the lead. <laughs> I don't know what the riders are, but big crash driving out of 12 on the first lap. We'll be restarting this one. Not the way we want to start the race here. Terrible. Crash. So one of them, one of the riders is walking off. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm not sure who these guys are. Two guys towards the back of the pack fell down driving on to turn 12, first lap. I'm gonna line them back up here for a restart. One lap in the books. This should be a really quick cleanup, but we could be here for a couple minutes. I'm not sure if they're going to transport any of the riders. I saw both up walking, looked okay. They're in here putting the tire warmers back on, keep the bikes uh, ready to go. <laughs> right, hey, we're, we're here at the 100 Thousand Classic. We're here with rider Paul Duvall. Paul, did you get a look at any of that? Uh, yeah, that looked like Joe LaMondri. Uh, he looks like he spun it up coming onto the tw turn 12 banking and uh, kind of pinballed yeah, down the straightaway the off the wall a little bit. Remember, He's up and okay fuel, and riding yep, away from it, fuel. but he yeah, was right in the middle of the track. How are you feeling? You feeling good today? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good today. Uh, the conditions are pretty gnarly, especially with the number of bikes out there. Uh, it's hard to get a look ahead of the riders in front of you. It's just all spray. But, uh, you know, I was feeling okay and looking my way, looking at working my way forward from where I started. So It's one of the fast local guys. We're pulling for him. You have any sponsors you want to thank? Oh, yeah, I got to thank uh, Tony's Track Days, uh, Anthem Leathers, Woodcraft, uh, DP Brakes, and Pirelli Tires especially. Good luck out there. We're pulling for you today. Yeah, Number 128, thanks. keep an eye on them. Good job. Qualified is the way they're going to regrid up. So it's a full restart. Full restart, just like the first time. Huh? Okay. Yes. John's with him. Ricky's down here. He's fine. He's fine. And John's with him. We'll keep walking. Full restart. So it's basically you're going to quick start. You're going to this? Yeah, quick start. Right? Regroup with me. Full restart. Full restart. Uh, so, uh, what's the last? Yeah, we didn't finish one. Right. Let's go! Up. 
for a restart, full restart. Yeah, so we're gridding these guys up for a second time. Unfortunately, we had a red flag on the first one. So we're gonna line them back up and do it all over again. That's Shane Narbone, he's a track favorite. Uh, he's won this event 10 of the last 14 times. I think seven of the last eight, he's got a one hell of a record here. He's a favorite to win. He's also a local, am I correct? Yeah, yeah, so good local guy. He's from Tingsboro, Massachusetts. $65,000 would be his payday if he wins today. He's looking good. We've got the M, the Vision Wheel M4 XR Suzuki factory team here. Tyler Scott on pole. <laughs> he led the first lap. Tyler Scott, number 70. Behind him, number 37. That's Eric Wood on the Woodcraft. Eric Wood, number five. In row two. And they're ready to go again. First lap, 100,000 classic. And it looks like we got another crash. Another guy fell down driving out of turn 12. Looks like he's gonna pick it up real quick though. Not sure what's going on. I believe we have another red flag. Precisely the exact same spot that we saw in the first start. Some of these guys at the back of the pack having a, tough a, time get, a having a tough time getting out of 12. This is the president of Neymar right here, John Grush. Guy behind the scenes making it all happen. A lot of work to put on an event like this. Stressful. <laughs> These are all coming in, uh, getting their tires warmed again. Maybe filling up the gas, cleaning their lenses, and getting ready to go out again. It's a problem with the wet conditions. It gets a little slippery out there, doesn't it? Yeah, it's tough to keep everybody up on two wheels in these kind of They're conditions. They're going to get them going right away. Some of these guys have never seen this place before, and a lot of them have never seen it before in the wet. Gives the local guys a real, real advantage. A lot of these local guys have been, they got thousands and thousands of laps riding around here in the rain. back to a full 20 laps because they did not complete a full lap. Narbonne, favorite to win. Second on the pole here. We've got the War Horse Ducati. Got right in front of you, number four, Josh Hayes. He actually led the last one. This guy right here? Yep, Josh Hayes, number four. He was in the lead right before that last red flag. He went from third row to first row yep. in one lap. Amazing first lap. He's an old KG veteran.
You wow. hear the change in sound when they go over that page yeah. strike? That's a real wheel spinning. <laughs> Some of the bikes you hear the revs raise up from the spin, others you hear a crackle from the traction control kicking in. three times yeah that's a third one today crash out of turn 12 right now we're looking at Eli Block not sure what place he's in number nine Eli Block from Connecticut looks like they're making some adjustments to the bike before we start again possibly a loose foot peg looks like he's cranking away on that first two starts JC Camacho Eli won the 400 race earlier today. Excuse me, 500 Superbike. He was the winner of that. He's out on his Yamaha R6 now. So, so Rick, uh, when they restart, who's in uh, first? All right, so we're going to have Josh Hayes, number four, in first place, followed by Tyler Scott, number 70, in second. PJ Jacobson, number 99X in third. So we're going to regrid up based on the way they were running this time. First two restarts, we went to original grids because it was only one lap. We're getting ready to go again live here. These guys ripping by us. Josh, so, Josh Hayes. Josh, Josh Hayes. Hayes, yeah. KG old veteran. <laughs> He's ridden for Factory, Yamaha. He's ridden for all the, all the big teams. Uh, guy's still in the sport, still going fast. It'd be nice to see him win the money today. Here they come. Here they come. For the fourth time. <laughs> yep. Fourth, fourth time's a charm. Fourth time is a charm. We're getting ready to go here again. <laughs> Thought we were about to get a break in the rain, but I just looked at the radar and it, we are in the thick of it. There's a lot of green around us. A little bit lighter clouds moving over us now, but it's still coming down a bit. 15 laps left to go. So we got them lined up, ready to go. Fourth time, 100th Loud and Classic. One run. 
rider down into turn one. He's okay, he's up, running to his bike. He'll get it picked up real quick. Maybe we'll get lucky and we won't go to a red flag on this one. It'll just be a standing caution flag until he's out of the way. Yep, looks like we're good. We're still under green. PJ Jacobson in the lead. Looks like he just got passed by Michael Gilbert. So red flagged it again yeah. due to another accident in the rain here. Unfortunately. 